Hi and welcome to winemastery.co.uk. Here we are in our Pinot Noir episode from yep. the supermarkets. Mm -hmm. We are indeed. We're here to help you find <coughs> the wine, if not the wines you will absolutely love. So my name is John Lightfoot, this is... John Murphy. I'm the dummy, this is the expert. That's debatable. <laughs> you know a lot more than me. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, let, than I'll me. let you have that, I'll let you have that. Okay, so we're here, <coughs> as we say, to try and help you find the wine you love. Now, We've looked at um, a uh, Tesco's uh, Pinot Noir. In Tesco's part one, fun, yeah. And in it's part two, we're going to look at the Marks and Spencers. Yes. Yes. Yes, I had to think myself then. And it's, but it's yeah. from the same region, Marlborough. That's New right, Zealand. yeah, Marlborough, New Zealand okay, again. So we'll do a sort of direct uh, comparison of the same, the same region. Yeah. Should we get to it? Why not? Why, why, why not? Is this one about the same age as the previous one? You know, I'll just, I shall have a check while, oh, I, while I'm down. There. Oh. Um, 2016. Oh, so the other one was 15, wasn't it? It was, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. slightly younger. So, yeah, slightly. Okay, okay. Well, it's a darker colour than the previous one. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit kind of richer in, in, in that kind of ruby colour. The, yeah. the brightness is still there, but it, oh, it seems to have like a, a hint of the purple in there as well, you know, yeah, along the, the edges. Yeah, the edges, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See that? Okay, so it looks different, so let's have a little um, uh, nose of that. Smells different. It does. That now that is more like now I could confidently say if if you would if you had that in a blind tasting, would you be able to tell where it is? And I could confidently say yes. You would. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be as well. Well, it definitely it has that more kind of um, when it. I know I've said this before, that kind of rotting vegetable smell. Yeah. And then it's almost a little bit kind of rubbery. Do you know, it, I know it doesn't, it doesn't sound that, and none of that sounds quite appealing. The 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 rotting vegetables or the the rubberiness, but that that's but, the kind. Of, but I think when you're saying that, you're not talking about the main smell. You're talking about the periphery smell. Yeah, kind of like a, it's, it's that hint when 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 they when people do talk about, and that's that's the kind of thing when you get that it's that hint of whatever it might be. And that is definitely, def it, I would recognise that more so as a Pinot Noir as opposed to Number One, which were, was a very very fruity. So let us have a little taste. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Very, very different. Very different. Very different. I can see if this is a typical Pinot Noir, why you wouldn't have thought the first one was yes. a Pinot Noir. Well, that with all that, all that fruit that was going on in there, this yeah. doesn't particularly have that. No. It's very tasty. So what would you say mm. is the fruits replaced with? Um, for me, it's more kind of a... It has like a... It almost, you know, the, the smell of leather that we get with other wines, it uh, has that kind of, uh, that leathery almost flavour. For me it almost has a spiciness. Yeah. And like it, uh, on the finish it's like a, sm like a small cake. Mm -hmm. A nice, yeah, like a, a, a nice kind of small cake aftertaste that comes yeah. through. So it's, got, it's, it's, quite, it's got quite complex. And also, it is actually. Mm. It probably is more complex than number one, isn't it? Yeah, and it would have. This is, as I say, a stereotypical. Now the Italians are a little bit stronger in this one. They're still yeah. quite apparent. So it's still described this as a light wine, but not as light as number one. <coughs> yeah, and not as fruity as number one. So. No, no. And to be, to be fair, I know you know this. This is more like a Pinot Noir would be, but I actually preferred a number one. Okay. Number one, yeah. Well, I think. I mean, obviously, we're 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 making this video um, in sort of uh, the springtime. I know that you're probably watching it. Well, you can watch it any time, of course. But uh, it's been released in 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 the summer. So um, for me, I think uh, the first one. But again, this is back to this mood thing, and we've we've mentioned in a lot of videos. It is mm. down to the mood, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, and this this one I would think would be for a sort of. Uh, um, a, a, perhaps a chillier evening, um, where yeah. the first one is more refreshing and, and more mm. poffy. Yeah, well, no, you're right, you spot, because, again, this, this just, again, commands more respect. You need, uh, this, this would probably, I'd need food with that one. Yeah. I'd need food with that one. Um, well, I wouldn't need it, I could happily drink both wines uh, yeah. without food, but I think number one had that kind of nice, that fruity edge, which you could just, you could sup that and sup and sup that. This just it commands a little bit more respect. Yeah. It's, it, it's very good, and there's a Pinot Noir, also very good. Hmm. Mm. Very good. So, are we going to look at a price on this one? Okay. I'll All just right. double check again, make sure. Okay, well, it's, uh, the previous one was uh, uh, Tesco's, if you haven't seen part part one. Uh, and I think that came in, when well, you say it's £7? Yes. I, I went at 8 so I was uh, a chunk out. This one is Marks and Spencers. Um, Marks and Spencers tend to sort of be a little more high end, so I'm going to say it is going to be more expensive. We believe it's more um, complex. Mm -hmm. um, 
I'm going to um, say that I think this one would have gone at twelve pounds. Well, again, you are very close, and you would you have done so much better than I would have on that one. Um, it's at thirteen pounds. Thirteen. Thirteen. So I've underwhelmed you. It. You have, yeah. Okay. Okay. So over, but that's it. That what does that say? Oh, you've over, over went over on the old Tesco's and under on this one. So mm. yeah, maybe I was sort of thinking I'm, mm. I'm going on at the high side from the previous. No, one. I think you're right, and I think P that Pinot Noir as well does, as I said, command a little bit more money. But um, that one for me, um, hmm, I wouldn't. I'm unsure if I'd spend that money on that. Okay, you think that's? I mean, it's a very nice wine, but actually, mm. value for money, certainly value for money. The first one, yeah. you know, at the uh, two thirds the price. You have to say it's more of a bargain. You yeah. get more wine for your money. Definitely, and again on that per on that personal level, which this is all about, is personally. In fact, the choice between those two. Well, it's, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Because this is more like a Pinot Noir should be. Uh, if I was in the mood for Pinot Noir, then I, then yes. But right now, I, I'd still put the number one. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I would for the yep. same reason. It's not to say on another occasion. Actually, I would prefer this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Hey, d'accord! <laughs> d'accord, is that me? I know, it's French. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Fair do to ask no more questions. Now, number three is going to be the interesting one because this is the Chilean. The Chilean? The Chilean, yeah. Okay. And this is, this, um, this is Sainsbury's, isn't it? Do you know, it is, yeah. Do you know if a lot, a lot of, um, does a lot of Pinot Noir come out of Chile? Yeah, a fair yeah. whack, and they're, they're yeah. producing more and more, uh, from what I've seen. Okay. Where do we see it coming, coming out right, left and centre, so, let's have a go. I think it's mainly right, isn't it, in Chile? Mm. We'll see you there. See you there! <laughs> Chin -chin. Cheers! <laughs>